Hello guys, I think I'm Hercules here. I know you guys are waiting for that Bioshock Part 2 in the series where for defining the generation. I am cooking it up uh, for you guys as we speak and it'll be out in about a week and a half. But I just had to talk about something because an event happened and I'm going to be going off script a little bit. I wrote a script but I'm just going off of it. Let's just get right into it because I'm not I'm not in the in the best of moods. I am a gatekeeper. Now, I don't mean that in the traditional sense. I love people who share interests and my interests. So naturally, why would I want to mind the thing I'm interested in? That's why I made a YouTube channel. That's why I make Facebook pages and Instagram pages. Everyone who knows Hercules knows that I want as many people a part of the communities I love as possible. But I am a gatekeeper in this sense. If you love to play Call of Duty, and only that annually, fine. I have no quarrel with you, no problem. If you're an annual Madden player, 2K player, FIFA player, and you got a new system just to play Madden, 2K, FIFA, I love that. I love that one game built so much passion in you that you just had to get an entire new piece of hardware just to enjoy it at its maximum capacity. Well, what I do check at the gate are people who are of these archetypes and shit on gamers who aren't. And call other forms of games trash. And say things like non-athletic people play that weird shit. That's the word that hits a real big nerve for me. That weird shit. You know what I think is really actually weird? 2K servers have been all but abandoned since 2014. I also think trading your real money for video game money is weird. And don't spew bullshit saying that it's the same as buying a game. When I purchase a game, I am reserving rights, a copy of that game. People work to make that game and therefore they deserve compensation. In order for them to get said compensation, they must sell the product they just created. It's called capitalism and I love it. But as for virtual currency, V-Bucks, call points, that involves creating an artificial problem and then giving, selling you a solution. In order for them to add V-Bucks, card points, VC in the game, it requires no effort, literally. They just input a code, boom, 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 there you go. You know, it, it's not something that requires you to pay for because it's already a part of the game. It's not a whole mechanic in itself. It's literally just fake money that they made, kind of like how you used to play an RPG and you had to go and collect gold. Imagine if, like, those same RPGs were just like, okay, instead of letting them collect the gold, we'll make them pay for the gold. That's just, It's as simple as that mechanic. And my biggest problem of all the games come from 2K itself because it specifically is targeted at my demographic and my demographic is also the demographic that I'm trying to help with this YouTube channel by spreading information and news in it. See, a lot my demographic has this thing where they, they really don't know what's going on with these games and don't know that these are actual real problems. See, the difference between something like 2K and then another game that they have microtransactions is the other communities will say, fuck no, what is this? Why is this in my game? I am not buying it. I'm not going to play it. Whereas, I hate to say it, niggas will just be like... That shit just in the game. That's just part of the game now. Let's just deal with it. And they will invest in it. They will get. They will incentivize the creators of that system to keep doing it. Do you guys not get that VC that you are buying is being forced upon you? You are being artificially slowed down in your progression and it's halting your fun. If you have to pay to skip part of the game, there are two fundamentally errant problems at its core, at its foundation. One is, what was the purchase of the game for if I didn't receive what comes with the game? Like, and then, and, and I'll get back to that. And two is, if I'm willing to pay to skip a chunk of your game, then it, it's just flawed in wh what you're offering. If I'm willing to pay to skip the thing that you made, it's like, it's both. You couldn't pay me to skip missions on Grand Theft Auto. Like, I wouldn't, I, I mean, no, I wouldn't pay. I would not pay money. To skip Grand Theft Auto missions. I wouldn't pay to skip Persona scene, scene cuts. I wouldn't pay to skip to level 7 in Diablo. Because all of those things are fun. So you really need to sit back and ask yourself. Why am I not only willing. But just, just charge head first. To pay money to skip to get my player to a 90. A 99. A 98. Or whatever, 95. Why am I. Why is that part not fun to me. And was it ever fun to me? And when did it stop being fun to me? What was the cause of it? Those are the type of things that like these gamers that, that play these games don't ask themselves. And I try to say to them, and when I bring it up to them, they instead of actually listening and getting the perspective like, oh shit, 
My homeboy is telling me good information. He's telling me what's going on with the gaming community. I should probably listen to me because he knows about this. Instead, they go, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Only niggas that don't like 2K is nerds. Well, hello, the gaming ki- like, like <laughs> that. That's that, that's also like a thing that's like it blows my mind. When you make fun of nerds in gaming, do you not know like the ones that's going to know the most about gaming are nerds? Like they're like those are like your source of information. So if a nerd is saying something about a game, maybe it's true. Maybe it's solid fact. Like I I don't understand it. Like. I'm not, like, if an athlete had told me, if if an athlete, a genuine athlete told me something about athletes, it's like, yo, you shouldn't do that, or, yo, th- this gym does this, they're scamming you, this gym, they try to get people in on this membership, and this is how they, this is how they get it, this is how they, this, the whole loophole, and then I'm like, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, that's them athletic niggas. Uh, duh, that's their fucking profession, they're supposed to know that. Athletes are supposed to know sports, nerds are supposed to know games. Hello, pay attention. Now, I'm not trying to start, like, no crusade for us to stop buying annualized games. Hey, everybody came with me. Stop buying annualized games. Like, and microtransactions. Like, it's your money. Do what you want with it. But you, if you are of that archetype, shut the hell up when it comes to, and I don't know how else to say it, real games. That's where the chip on my shoulder comes from. I can't tell you how many times I've been around friends and... They go, what is this weird shit? Or what the hell is this? Or what the fuck are you playing? Um, It's called Witcher 3 and it's fucking epic. Meanwhile, you're playing NBA 2K13 for the ninth straight year. And when you try to tell these people these things, they act as if they don't care. Like, okay, you don't care about literally being scammed and robbed? Tell me why not. Because you're having fun? And how did you get to that point of fun? Buying that $60 game as you do every year and then buying money to skip half the game. Wow. That's an amazing experience. (laughs) Look, guys, I don't mean to rant, but God, I get so aggravated when there's 2K Matt and then called annualizers try to shit on games that take years and have so much passion in them. 2K can't even produce an original soundtrack. It's songs you've heard, NBA players you've seen, doing dunks you've done in the neighborhood you remember. Meanwhile, I just killed the bear with a bow and arrow, found a pistol grip, and I'm about to overthrow this banding cat. I say all that to say this. I love 2K. I play it here and there more often than the start of each new release, but I have a battle with it because all of my friends invest heavily in 2K, not realizing they bought a a brand new casino. And then you don't even enjoy the whole game. You play my career the entire year, refresh and restart. Are you forgetting all the work you did the past 12 months? Like, I was curious. When you get a new 2K, do you already think of 12 months from now being a 60 overall again and having fun? Like, what part of that loop is fun to you? Like, you get a new 2K, right? You bought the 80. That's say you bought the $80 version. You got, you know, you got some bonus VC. You got, like, your little 25000 You make a play like an 80-something overall. Like, as you're playing this, are you already realizing at this very moment, like, yo, in literally 12 months from now, this shit gonna be so it's gonna be so irrelevant as if I never, I, I just it's, just, it's a waste of the past year of this game. Like, I never understood that. It, it is a way for them to translate that progress over two Ks. It just it don't make money, and, and the players don't complain about it. So they're just like, all right, we can just keep doing it. Um, the pros is it could be a blast playing with your friends, and it's the only title out there for basketball fans. And nothing is greater in that game than finally having your mob player go from a 77 to like a 98. Like when you actually work and grind for that, but it's only fun, like honestly, the first time. Um, like I hear like that playing with your friends argument a lot. I, I wasn't an argument. I was actually talking to one of my homeboys, and I was telling him like, "Yo, I'm gonna make a video about why 2K is garbage juice leaking out of bag," and he was like. Well, he was saying some good stuff about it. Like, yo, like, I ain't gonna lie. That shit be fun. Like, me, like, when me and you play or, like, you play with your boys, like, I know you have fun. Like, and I do. But here's my thing. Like, like I have fun playing any game with my friends. That's the that's the part of playing the game with your friends. You're doing something fun and you're with someone you like that it's already going to be fun. I can't tell you how many times I did. I'm gonna be real. Honestly, 2K is my least favorite game to play with friends unless I'm playing directly competitively against you. 1v, like, like. Like a team of five or a team of fives, like same couch setting. I don't like grouping up with friends online playing 2K because the servers are so horrible. I can't tell you how many times I've waited 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It's been times I will I will join in my part. I will go outside, smoke a blunt, 
come back in, and and, and still we still waiting on one nigga in the neighborhood, and or, or, or we still waiting up for, for like service. It's just like it's so many like 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 what it, it's not as good as you guys think. It's just I'm sorry, it's not. Um. Like, I think 2K gets away with it. I already spoke on earlier, but I think 2K gets away with it because of the community that we are, like, the community that 2K sells to and the main people that buy it are, I hate to say it, they're black, and they, and I hate to also say this, but, like, and I'm not saying all, oh, but a lot of, like, niggas just don't care about gaming news. They just don't give a fuck about that shit. They want to get on that call. They want to play that 2K. They want to run that Madden, and that's all it is to it. But if yeah, my, my objective, and I'm going to find a way to do it, I'm going to start finding a way to get that information to them in a way that they... Actually, it clicked, and I'm like, "Yo, 2K can be funner." You, you don't realize that, like, what I'm that the things I'm saying makes 2K better. Like, if they stop force, if they stop haunting your progression, that should be fun. You don't guys don't remember when 2K first came out? They was charging you guys like like three three basketball games for a haircut. Y'all don't remember that? What, 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 how was that fun to you? How do you defend that when I'm attacking it? How do you stand on the side of that when I'm going against it? I don't understand that. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Bow shot video be out soon. If you guys like this rant, you want to see more rants like this, make sure you like and subscribe. And that's all I got. I think I'm Hercules out, motherfuckers. Hercules, Hercules. Do it! I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nature, a rackness. Bow shot shit, I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spazzing square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm Booker the Whip.